All right, so welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we're going to be looking at Six Star Kakashi. Now, I wasn't really expecting them to add in Six Star Kakashi because in one of my old videos, I was talking about a Six Star Kakashi that, you know, lets you control Susano and literally next update, they add this in. So I'm like, I don't know if that's because of me or just a coincidence, but I'm happy about this. Basically, this means that in the future, we could have different Susanoo characters in the game. But of course, you guys know me. I maxed them out fully. And I guess it's time to check how good he is in some infinite mode. So I'm not putting any orbs on him because you guys like me to showcase these videos without having any orbs on the characters. Because some characters get crazy buffs like Gilgamesh 6 star. Literally his whole entire damage gets doubled with the fire orb. So he's just super busted. But um, I haven't really fully tried out Kakashi. So I really want to see how good he is. So let's enter some infinite mode. Finally, it's about time I have enough for the Kakashi. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. Pretty much like when I make my videos, like these showcase videos where I place on the new characters, I go into infinite mode and I grind up the money first and then I place it down so I can just keep upgrading the character and I don't have to wait for money. But now with these new characters, I've been waiting literally like 10 20 minutes just so i have enough money to place the character down and then i gotta upgrade it okay so this is kakashi he deals 62,000 damage um every six seconds with 15 range pretty good and these are his upgrades i don't know how much upgrades he has but uh it seems his upgrade is gonna give him 62k for 50k so let's get that and now he's doing 125k his next upgrade will give uh, 71,000 for 60,000. Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So, okay, this guy has a pretty good amount of um, upgrades. I'm not gonna lie. Kakashi's looking pretty good too. I didn't know Kakashi was blonde though. But let me place down an Irwin real quick as well. Get the Irwin set up so that I could buff him after once I have uh, him fully maxed out because I am really curious on how much damage he has because. I might make a video on Kakashi versus Gilgamesh, to be honest. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and place down a range uh, dude right here next to him as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what he does when he's fully upgraded. Let's place the 65k on him real quick. And now he has 27... Is that 27,000? No, that's 277,000. Okay. 70k, right? For 89,000 damage. You know, pretty good. You get what you're paying for. And his final last two upgrades will give him 107k damage for 80k. And his final final one, which will cost 800,000, will give him, give uh, what is that number? 278,000 damage, guys. So, let's go ahead and get that. And this dude is chilling at 752,000 damage every 6 seconds with 15 range. So, let's go ahead and buff him real quick with Erwin. Let's check it out. And... With Erwin buffs and Merlin buffs, he goes up to 20. What is that? 2 million and yeah, 2.2 million, 6 XPA, and 20 range. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so let me go ahead and activate Susano real quick, guys. Here we go. The Susano comes out of the ground. There you go. And it's time to use this. Oh my god, it looks so sick. Okay, so this is my first time using Kakashi. So I don't know how his attack looks like, but I'm really hyped for this. So let's see how this looks like. Where's the attack? Um, I'm attacking. I don't think I have my effects on. Hold on a minute. Hold on. This whole time I didn't have it. <laughs> wow. This whole time I didn't have it on. My bad, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Something. Okay, yeah. The shurikens. I knew it. This is literally just like... Bro, where's... Bro, did my game just crash? Are you serious? Bruh. All right, you guys. So I finally got enough to actually finally, you know use this guy again fully maxed out so there it is the susano is back up let me go ahead and place down my merlin as uh, again and place down my erwin as well because i also want to buff him and see how powerful he is with buffs so just let me do that real quick now hopefully this time i don't crash because while i was trying to record this video guys i got my boom up to like max three times before this this time three times i crashed on this game and i was like okay you know what maybe god is telling me i should not record this game and uh i was like you know what i'm not gonna give up here we are so this is buffed kakashi he's doing 2 million and 258,000 damage i mean that's actually pretty good for something that you could control and why did my game crash again bro oh my goodness okay hopefully i don't crash this time so we saw the damage on kakashi kakashi is pretty op 
and yeah he deals what two million yeah 2.2 million it's amazing now let me go ahead and enter it and like i was trying to say the very first time before i crashed the attack is just like when i was talking about it dude but like you can't really like um you know like say like oh i came up with the attack the attack is just like how i said like it was gonna be like when you throw the shurikens after you throw the shurikens the come is gonna happen it's literally perfect guys this is I knew this was gonna happen. I knew they were gonna add a Susano that you could control. I just can't wait for the other Susanos, especially Sasuke's. I wonder how they're gonna make that. I wish they make some units kind of different. Like maybe some units we could get like a like a different controllable unit that's like stationary. And it's like kind of like a turret kind of deal where you aim at somewhere and it shoots over there, like stuff like that. But yeah, Kakashi is amazing, man. Especially when you buff him and he gets that 2.2 mil damage. He is definitely up there with a lot of different uh, units. Like, he is basically the Meta Knight replacer. I don't think Meta Knight is going to get a 6-star or an orb because of Kakashi. Since we have a 6-star Kakashi. And, yeah, I mean, is this guy good for infinite mode? Obviously, guys, this is the new meta. Gilgamesh, this guy, and uh, some other units I don't know of. Because I haven't tested everything out. I haven't got the orbs or anything like that. So, I don't really know. But I know I need to get Snake Man Luffy Orb, that's for sure. Now, honestly, to like, let's talk about Kakashi, like, as an infinite mode unit. As an infinite mode unit, honestly, this is a really good unit to, like, get, you know, your damage up. Like, you're literally attacking every six seconds with 2.2 million damage if you keep your buffs up. You're gonna damage farm, like, crazy with that time of, type of damage. It's It's insane that type of damage especially if you go into like this type of mode and literally set up a gilgamesh auto click on kakashi at the beginning right here and you're pretty much set but you know if you're gonna damage farm you would rather go on the orbs because it's actually better to damage farm on orbs than on this because orbs just has so much more npcs and everything and such a bigger map so if you're gonna damage farm go on orbs i'm probably gonna make a video on that later on and then um yeah that's pretty much it for that but Kakashi, like, it's just insane. If you don't have Gilgamesh, use Kakashi. If you have Gilgamesh, use both. If you don't have Kakashi, use Gilgamesh. Pretty much those units are like the meta units now for infinite mode. And honestly, if you guys don't go into hard mode or extreme mode, I mean, like in infinite with quad players, then you're pretty much wasting that damage. Because guys, when you go into quads on extreme mode with like a bunch of other players, you're gonna get a ton of damage. Like I saw one guy get like 2 billion without having to do like a crazy method to get, you know, damage. He literally just stood there with Kakashi and left click and he was doing like insane. He probably got like a good few thousand gems for sure that game. But yeah, this is Kakashi. Like it's a really good character, honestly. I mean, there's nothing to really say a bad about him. You know, it's just a good character. It's basically Meta Knight 2.0, but Kakashi. A lot of people were thought we're going to get a 6-star Naruto, but I don't think that's going to happen, guys. Maybe it could be, like, one of the new present units, but that's pretty much it. But, yeah, I'm going to end the video right there, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. This was 6-star Kakashi, and see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.